All right, so for this problem, we have 4 times radical 6 plus 15 radical 3 minus the square root of 6. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when we're simplifying expressions with radicals, it's just like we did with polynomials. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to combine them to like terms, all right? Now, remember, when we have them on like terms, when we are dealing with polynomials, we are dealing with numbers or variables that had a um, integer as their exponent. So we had like z squared, right, and x to the fourth power. We could combine all those. Well, a radical or a root is actually a power, as actually a fractional power. So it's still going to use the same characteristics. What I mean is I can combine the four radical six minus radical six plus 15 radical three, okay? So therefore, I can combine these two. Now, I have four times radical six minus radical six is going to give me three radical six plus 15 radical three, all right? Now, here's a big misconception. A lot of students want to say, well, why isn't it this? Why isn't it just radical 6 minus 6? Well, guys, when you use the same example, you can think of these just as variables again. Right? It's the exact same thing. They're just like any other base with an exponent. What happens when you have 4x minus x? You have now have 3x. Okay, So that's why that is not true. Yes? It's minus, yeah. Okay, so does everybody understand why this does not work? It just, it's just like what we did with polynomials. All right? So 4x minus x does not equal 3. It equals 3x. So 4 radical 6 <coughs> minus 6 square root of 6 is going to equal 3 square root of 6 <coughs> plus 15 radical 3. I cannot combine these because they're not like terms. It's the same thing, like saying 3x plus 15y, we can't combine these, can we? No. They don't have the same base. So you can't combine these at all either, okay? So that's how you simplify that expression. Thanks.